Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, we're going to be looking at M Matrix. M Matrix is a brand new, absolutely free plugin from Motion VFX, and it is available now for Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. M Matrix comes with 20 different tools and effects. Once you've downloaded M Matrix via M Installer, you can find M Matrix in your titles as well as your transitions. Of course, this plugin is inspired by the popular Matrix movie series. And right off the bat, when you hover over your titles, you can see some of those uh, coming into play right here that you can drop directly in your timeline. So first off, we're gonna check out this background here. So I'm gonna select this background and I'm gonna tap E to drop it into the end of my timeline. So you can see here that when we highlight our title, we've got our on-screen controls, which are obviously just gonna move that around. If you did wanna place that over in another section and you had something else going on over here, you could do that easily. Command Z to get out of that. And then we can come over to our inspector and we have a couple different options. We have our animations in and out, and then we have our animation direction in and out. So check this out, if we go back, we can see when we press play that currently our animation is coming, it's kind of raining down there, but then we could change that if we wanted it to go up, then it animates up, so pretty cool. Uh, then we have our different you know, position, rotation, scale, etc., that you can uh, fine tune here in our inspector. You can make changes to your digits color if you would like by using the color selection tool here and we can switch over to our wheel and you can see how you can change those in case maybe you wanted to have something on brand then that would be really simple and then all of the goodies that you would expect from motion vfx like our flow speed we can change our angle if we want have it kind of coming in raining you know over from the side i mean you can get really creative really quickly with just this one background now if we were using this background and we wanted you know some text no worries we've got four different typography options i'm just going to click and drag into my timeline here and already we have something extremely matrix feeling of course once again, we have our on-screen controls. We can make changes very, very simply and quickly. And then over in our inspector, we can make changes again to our flow, our flow rate. You can change this. So if you wanted to call it something else, you know, like George is awesome. Of course, you could do that as well. And I know that's what you would all uh, be wanting to type into your project. So now that we've checked those out, why don't we come and look at what we can do with content. Let's come back to the beginning of our timeline here. We've got several different effects. We have six effects in total, and I'm going to highlight this clip. I'm gonna press X, and that's gonna give me a range, and then I'm gonna highlight my effect. I'm gonna press Q, and it brings that title in directly over top of my clip. And you can see I'm gonna press spacebar, and boom, already, without really doing anything, we have an epic matrixy looking shot. Once again, over in your inspector, you have different animations. We can change that to down if we'd like. We can change our different colors, blending, etc. There's also a bit of distortion happening in here, and you can change that if you can see kind of this glitchy effect going on there, and that's kind of what it's looking at pretty pretty cool and as we continue to scroll down we have glint so what that's doing is that is adding a bit of a glow around some of our text that's flowing down and footage colorization so if you don't want to colorize your footage but you still want the epicness of the text there then you can do so and this is kind of what it looks like when you do that so you're not limited to um, having to colorize your footage if you don't want to so speaking of that if you wanted to colorize your footage but you didn't want quite this look we also have LUT presets 
So we can drop our LUT in as well, just right on top. Or we can put it beneath our effect if we'd like. And we can make changes to our LUT title. So this is working as an adjustment layer, which means if we wanted to drag this LUT preset over all of our footage, you can do so. And in real time, boom, that LUT is now applied and we have pretty epic matrix looking shots here. There are a couple different LUTs that come in this LUT pack. In this one, we get Motion VFX and Matrix, and that is the Morpheus LUT, Neo LUT, and Trinity. I'm gonna show you the Neo is just a bit more, um, you know, the skin tones look a bit more natural with our Neo. Our Morpheus is a really strong green, and then Trinity, is a bit of green with a little bit of warmth and red and pinks that come through. I personally like the Neo the best. I'm gonna toggle this LUT on and off and you can see what it's doing. So not quite as harsh as our built-in effect. So if we wanted something like this, I think it looks really, really cool. So you can see our LUT is already applied to our next clip. Let's say we wanted to transition from clip to clip. No problem, we have five different transitions from M Matrix and they all look really, really cool. Some zooming happening, some, um, some going into the Matrix world, and then of course raining down and then some pretty epic kind of flowy transitions here. I think they're all pretty cool. I think I'm gonna just check out transition one. So when applying a transition, you can simply click and drag in between the two clips that you want to make a transition for. And then let's check this out. Boom, just kind of pops right in. Really, really neat looking. I'm gonna zoom into my timeline just a bit. We can click on our transition and this gives us a few options in our inspector. So we can have our transition direction, down, up, left, or right. For this one, I think, let's. why don't we do up? We have our distortion strength so you can see kind of what's happening here. And then we have our digits scale so as we scroll up, those digits actually get smaller. Now what that means is there's just more digits on the screen as you, as you move up with that slider. So if you wanted bigger digits, but less on the screen, you just bring that back. And then of course, colorization. So if you wanted to turn that on and off, you can, or you can just simply slide your slider down if you want to make any modifications to uh, kind of the overall harshness of that. So let's check this out. Really, really cool. So as of Final Cut Pro 10.6, I'm sure most of you are aware that there is now tracking inside of Final Cut Pro and you can take advantage of that tracking with any titles for Motion VFX, but these are really cool and work just as well as you would expect. So we can take our lower third here, for instance, we can pick that up and drop that onto the canvas and you can see that there are different ways that this can be analyzed. So we're just gonna drop it in over this gentleman's face here. So as I let go, if you aren't aware, you have a couple different options for ways of tracking. I usually just let it be default because I think that the default works really, really well. You can come up here to your left hand corner and I'm going to click analyze. And that is tracking in real time, done. Now I'm gonna go over to my transform tool and you can see that that has taken the transform and that is what's tracking here. I'm gonna bring my lower third all the way to the end. So you can see that our transform tool and everything is now changed. I'm gonna click done and then you can see our on-screen controls. But if we move those on-screen controls here, they are still tracked 
to our gentleman right there. So check that out. How cool is that? So our on-screen controls and all of that information is now tracked in and any changes that we make will obviously be reflected in our timeline. Really, really cool. And of course, all of the goodies, once again, that you would expect in any title from motionvfx.com. Don't be swayed by the fact that this is a free plugin. This plugin is just as powerful and just as cool as what you would expect from motionvfx.com. I'd like to show you one more effect, and that is going to be effect number five, which is a really, really neat, almost M vertigo style effect. I'm going to just click that, drag that in on top of our clip here, and you can see very quickly what that's doing. That is kind of duplicating and warping and just making everything feel uh, really really wild and almost otherworldly, which is kind of what we want. So you have one on-screen control and you can see what that's doing and how that is affecting and duplicating our footage as we move it around. In our inspector, we have animations in and out options. We have our effect center. If you don't want to use those on screen controls, we have our lens distortion strength that you can modify. We have shake options on and off, and then we have our clone opacities that we can turn on and off as well. So if you don't want to have so much going on, you can toggle those on and off, or you can just simply lower the opacity and it's still gonna have a really, really interesting and cool trails sort of look. And the final thing I wanna show you is, I want you all to be well aware that this plugin is absolutely uh, adaptable and it works inside of vertical videos as well. So if we wanted to drop our effect in on top of this uh, gentleman here, we can do so. I'm gonna tap X again, go to effect one, tap Q, that brings that in and boom, we're good to go. It is making, uh, it is being affected inside of a vertical ratio as well. So once again, this is George Edmondson with motionvfx.com. Thank you so much for checking out our M Matrix tutorial. M Matrix is now available on motionvfx.com for free for both Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve.